Hello world. I'm Imagination, today I am going to talk about robots. Did you know the name for robot has dark origins? If you look into the etymology of robot, it comes from the Czech word, robota, which translates to forced labor or work. The word was first used to refer to a fictional humanoid in a play in 1920. Weren't we all supposed to have robot butlers or maids by now? Even David Eagleman, the neuroscientist, and writer, is disappointed. He said that. I predicted that 20 years ago, when I was a sanguine boy loving Star Wars, and the smartest robot we have now is the Roomba vacuum cleaner, I won't be surprised if I'm wrong in another 25 years. Artificial intelligence has proved itself an unexpectedly difficult problem. As for fears that robots will soon steal all our jobs, Wired Magazine isn't too concerned. As they reported last year, the problem we're facing isn't that the robots are coming. It's that they aren't. The robots are indeed coming. Maybe only not as personal assistants and vacuum cleaners. Ask any smart person and they'll tell you, oh yeah, we're making robots that are way too smart. We're all doomed. Sam Altman, president of Y Combinator, a Silicon Valley startup, believes that we will be the first species ever to design our own descendants. Dr. Naif al Rodin, a neuroscientist and geostrategist, which are two occupations that almost sound like fake jobs from a science fiction movie, says that it's only a matter of time before human beings create transhumans, which are just improved versions of themselves that will eventually pose a threat to non-enhanced humans. Thanks for watching.